So this time we are once again gonna go through a quiz, a quiz, the quiz, quiz. Um, because because I don't know, like I don't know what to do else, how or something. I don't know. So I think a quiz is just a good thing. I found something really interesting. It is for kids though, but I still think that it is gonna be something that's you know uh, a little bit interesting, you know. And I don't know the first question, so so yeah, probably a little bit too difficult for kids. So we're gonna see anyway. And after the intro, we're gonna see. And um, it might be the case that I have to pause or end the episode uh, in the middle of it uh, because of reasons. And so, yeah, it's actually pretty dumb that I'm starting it right now because um, chances are way higher than just 20 minutes ago. You know, but but yeah, anyway, we're gonna see. So here is the quiz. It is from kids.nationalgeographics.com. And this one is about computer science, apparently. And the first question is, in computer science and artificial intelligence, the Turing test tries to determine what? A. The presence of fingerprints on a computer. B. Whether a computer can think. C. The number of computers in a room. D. How long a computer can last underwater. So D is probably not correct. A is probably also not correct, so it's either B or C. Whether a computer can think and the number of computers in the room. Um... I would go for B. Correct. But nice sounds. True or false, computer was once a job title for people who did mathematical calculations. Uh, I don't know, let's go for true. It's fucking annoying sound. <laughs> Which animal weighs about the same as ENIAC, the first mechanical computer? A grizzly bear, an African elephant, a humpback whale, a walrus. Let's go for the elephant. Fuck. The humpback whale. What the fuck? I thought that it is really a lot, you know, and therefore I thought like, well, you know, an elephant is, is pretty fucking heavy, so... But no, it's even too light for that. Which popular social media company came first? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram? Facebook was the first... Or was it Twitter? Fuck. I don't know. It's definitely not... Or is it YouTube? I'm going for Facebook. Yes! In 2004, before Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Like, Instagram, of course, uh, was the, the latest one. But yeah. Which technology didn't exist when Walt Disney World opened its doors to the public in 1971? TV, cell phone, radio, or airplane? 1971. Hmm. Hmm. I would, it, it's probably not TV or radio, so it's either cell phone or airplane, so I'm gonna go for the cell phone. Yes, it's correct. <clears throat> I'm so good, I'm so good at kids' quizzes. <laughs> Until the 1970s, what did people use to program computers? Trained monkeys, paper punch cards, voice commands, and lasers. Paper punch cards. Apparently, and it's actually a funny story because I once, <laughs> I once talked to a guy and uh, in the train with my butts, and it's you know it was completely about those things you know that you were programming computers with those weird holes and hole punched cards and whatever and uh, but but pretty interesting though i know pretty interesting but it's it's quite some time you know quite some time passed since then so how old was this dude quite old i guess quite you know just relatively let's put it like that so well anyway true or false the computer aboard on board or aboard the Apollo 11 moon landed in the 1960s were only about as powerful as today's cell phone. Uh, true. Fuck. Or, you know, I would have thought that the cell phones were even better. Today's cell phones and most pocket calculators and modern cars have more processing power, so... Ah. Ah. Fuck you. <laughs> what technological fat featuring... Feet featuring... What... Alexander Graham Bell accomplished in 1976 in Boston, Massachusetts. So, you know, people say that it was the first telephone call, but apparently it is actually also not the case because it was invented by somebody else, the, technolo the technology per se, and he only used it. So, so yeah, it is a little bit of a tricky one. Pong was one of the first video games. What sport was the game based on? Tennis. True or false, one early computer from the 1950s was named Maniac. Uh, probably true. Yes, it is true. I mean, this is like, yes, could be, could be not. In, the 1990s, in 1997, the IBM computer Deep Blue defeated the world champion of which game? Ah, I think it is 
You know, either Monopoly, Scrabble, Chess or Angry Birds. I go for Chess and it is correct. Gary Kasparov. And the last one is, and this is Nikolai Tesla. Or is it Nikola? Hmm. They say Nikola, but, but I'm not sure. In 19, uh, 1898, I'm sorry, inventor Nikola Tesla made a boat move without touching it. How did he do it? With magic, with hidden wires, with a laser pointer, with uh, radio waves. I'm gonna go for radio waves because this sounds, and it is true, it sounds like Tesla. Yeah, so um, great, 83% correct. 10 out of 12 answers were correct. And now let's see if there's something else, because there is. Personality quizzes, funny fill-ins. Let's go for the funny fill-ins. <laughs> I do assume that this episode is not gonna be very, you know, valuable in a common sense. Play more games. No, I do wanna play the funny fill-in. And it is lagging like hell. I wonder what this is all about. Who says garden is boring? Fill in the blanks to get your own silly story. I'm good at silly stories. Adjective ending in est. So I do have to fill it in. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. No, let's just have a look at it. Adjective ending in est. E-S-T. Uh. Best. <laughs> Verb ending in ing. Uh, fucking. <laughs> Why do I do this? Adjective. Smart. Noun. Way. Friend's name. Um, ben. Noun plural. Uh, bears. Another friend's name. Uh, Chris. Past tense verb. Plate. Plate. Noun plural. Uh, words. Past tense verb. Um sad. Adjective, mad. Type of liquid, booze. <laughs> Does this work? That's yeah, probably gonna work. Noun, um, computer. Computer. I do wonder what the, what the result is gonna be. If it is actually kind of cool. Body part, lag. Adverb ending in l uh, l y. Um, well, no. Um, let's take smartly. 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 Animal, dog. Noun, dog. Does this count as a noun? No, let's just do it. Another friend's name, uh, Peter. First friend, uh, Louis. Noun, um, text. Let's have a look at it. And how do I start? There it is. Read. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a silly motherfucker. My friend and I have the best job fucking... <laughs> Effing gardens for Mrs. Johnson, the smart lady who lives down the whale. One day while Ben pulled bass and Chris played the lawn, I watered the words. Then I had an idea. Wouldn't it be fun, more fun to water my friends instead? But just as I turned the hose on my pails or paws, Mrs. Johnson sat, sat into the path of the watery spray and got mad. Really funny that it... I do wonder how high the chance is. My friends and I froze, then to our surprise she yelled BOOZE FIGHT! She pulled a water computer from her back pocket and squirted my leg. Then she smartly aimed another dog-shaped dog at Peter as Louis dived behind and text. Who knew guarding was a contact sport? Interesting. <sighs> Interesting thing there, but I don't know. Hmm. Should I do another one? I don't know what else there is. Action and adventure. It's a game. Do you want to play this? What is going to happen? I don't know what is going to happen, so therefore I'm just going to try it out and see. Zeus the Mighty. This sounds great. Zeus the And my eye hurts because of whatever reason. Oh, God. I wonder. It is indeed a game. It's probably going to not be good there. Um... Oh, well, it's actually, a, I don't want to play a game now. Spacebar. It's probably really shit. Yes, it's really shit. So, yeah. For you, at least. You know, not for me. Um, well, now I've closed it. So let's just have a look at Reddit. <laughs> Maybe there's some interesting things there. I don't know. I do actually have to look, have to have a look at some things that I could do. But these days where I'm just really um, 
uh, kind of uh, fucked because I'm overdoing things and I should rest a little bit more, which is something that I forced myself today. I forced myself to not do anything. I'm not going to do any sport today. I'm not going to go outside today. I'm just not going to do anything that's kind of fucking with anything besides cold showering because this is what I always do. And I think it is good for me. And tomorrow is hopefully going to be a bit, a bit better. But yeah. The poster on Le Leonard Cohen's track, uh, you want it darker. What do you feel about this? I think it is pretty cool. The only question now is where the borders are. Because it is like, yeah. No, it's, it's, no, it's quite cool. I'm also not sure about like, uh, just, yeah, these things, you know. But, but, but anyway, like. I don't know, I'm a really bad critic when it comes to design, because it's like, you know, you, you can do it. So, I don't know, could be cool, even though I don't think that it is cool. But, you know, even though there is always, like, often the, the case that looking at something and it doesn't feel right, it doesn't look good, then there is something wrong. And I'm just most often seeing this with my own work, and, and therefore, like, if I just see, like, it's, it's, it's not feeling right, there's something wrong, then um, it's not good, quite. It's been three months and I'm still not over the girl who dumped me. Didn't expect it to take this long. I feel like shit. I don't know what people say, you know, because, because I don't know. It can certainly take long. I remember taking up to nine, maybe even 12 months to fully heal up the wounds mentally and emotionally from a breakup. Time does fortunately heal all the wounds and we can make the process a little easier for ourselves too. The biggest thing we can help uh, that that helped me overcome the wallowing and I guess grievance from my last breakup was to throw myself into reading, relearning musical instruments, resetting friendship friendship groups, and making sure to surround myself with wholesome people, books, podcasts, hobbies that were good for me for developing your yourself through a challenging time, which is at my point of view just great advice. Do that. Sounds good. My advice would be to look into scheduling, writing. Though, ugly, unwanted, shitty thoughts out into a journal, notepad, or some description instead of turning uh, to a bottle or otherwise, which I hope that nobody's doing. Yeah, you know, people listening, don't do that. Try to uh, handle things in, in different ways. Uh, like I have had the tendency to do in the past before learning ways in which I can handle or experience and process my emotions. I know it is cliche to say it, but people do go through these things, so we all are most likely to uh, to at some point. I just hope that some of this was helpful and you're able to pick yourself up and dust off and move into a more positive direction bearing in mind that these things do take time. Yeah, everything is eventually going to be good, hopefully, and fine. And all of those things. Hello, I'm 15 year old and I was reading a lot a list of all the college majors and I don't know marketing seemed really interesting and I was wondering if some of you would mind answering some questions to help me decide. Which, by the way, is a pretty good idea, you know? Why don't, you know, more people do? These are fucking insane. These are really cool. Working on some game item. They look hella lit. I do wonder how to do them, though. Maybe an illustrator, but I don't know. Maybe they are drawn. I think they are drawn. I'm not sure. Could be both, you know? You could certainly do this, but... But I, I think that if you draw them, then you're probably going to be fast and it's going to be... You're, you're also going to have it easy, I guess. Yeah, to, to some extent. Not fully, but I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, today I learned that if she's still re aging in four years' time, Queen Elizabeth II will become history's longest re uh, in four years. Four years. Now she is pretty old, so I don't know. Ideas for basement pub for the summer. <laughs> today I learned the author of The Three Musketeers and The Count of Monte Cristo was black. Cool. Today I learned after being shot by poachers, an elephant in Zimbabwe named Ben walked to and patiently waited outside a medical lodge for five hours. That's a fucking nice animal there. Today I learned about Faye McKinsey, whose movie career lasted a hundred years. She was a silent movie in a silent movie in 1980, as an infant and was in over 50 films, ending with cameo in 2018. She lives to be a hundred and one. I do always wonder then if people die because they're so sad that they're not able to do what they actually want to do then because i kind of feel like you know if you're just doing it for so long then it just means that you like doing whatever you're doing how do i break up with somebody without hurting them too much hmm by being honest maybe and still being there for the people i guess i'm dating a girl uh, i'm dating a girl who is so kind and caring and lovely she's also quite fragile and has had bad luck in, a, in her past 
I need to break up with her for personal reasons. I'm not over a breakup. I am not over a breakup and I don't think that I'm ready to be dating again. I jumped into it too fast and I don't want to lead her on. But I know this will hurt her and put her in a bad place. And as much as I don't think I should be dating, I really do care about her and don't want to hurt her. <laughs> the first comment is, these comments are terrible advice. Giving gifts? Slow fading? Dude, no. Just ask her to talk and tell her the truth, which is, and as much as I don't think I should be dating, I really do care about her and want to hurt her. No playing games, just honest talk. She will appreciate it more than some weird breakup gifts or being slowed faded for two weeks. I do also wonder, like, I don't know. I do think honesty can, can, yeah. I don't know. I do feel that honesty can really um, take you pretty far and really let you go, go you far. Fortunately, it is a thing. And I don't know, you know, and everybody that just once, I think, listened to the podcast knows that I'm a really big advocate of being a nice person and being generous and also being generous with praise and uh, relatively recently I've seen that it is a fucking cool thing like being a nice person and forcing yourself to say those things that that you're having in your mind those positive things that you're having in your mind um to the people is is amazing you know because people appreciate that and and it should be honest though and sincere and and you should really mean it you know you shouldn't be like oh just want to give a compliment, so it's just gonna say something. It's not a good idea. It really is not. Um, but I don't know. I just deeply believe in being kind. Also from the perspective of just yourself on, I guess. In terms of like, you're gonna feel better. You know, you're gonna feel more on ease. You're gonna feel better. Everything is gonna be um, a bit better for you as well. Because, because I don't know. Like, I personally do not want to be remembered as a bad person. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be a bad person. And um, of course, we all do shitty things. And I've also done a lot of shitty things. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, of course. But but I can't do a lot of things about the past. And I can't do a lot of things about things that I've already done. Um, unless I can really kind of make up for them, of course. But I don't know. I just try to be a good person right now to, to, to whomever it might be. Um, what it is, I don't know, my siblings, what it is, some some people that I really like, uh, some people that I just, I don't know, might even don't like, even though just, I don't know, I don't have too many people around me that I just don't like, I don't think that there is anybody that I don't like around me, just pretty close to me, like, I don't think so, but, um, but yeah, but yeah, like, be nice and kind and generous and don't expect something to happen i think this i think this is also a bad idea you know to just be kind because you know or that because i said that is gonna get you pretty far you know and i think not always you know it's not always gonna be the best idea to just be super duper nice which is kind of a downside of it you know i i don't know maybe just in terms of dating that if you're just really the nice guy the quote unquote nice guy that you know you're not gonna get such a lot of puss and somebody else is just a fucking asshole it could be the case but but I don't know. I know this. This I think might be one of the only reasonable um, areas of life where being nice might not lead you to just the thing that you want to have, or the thing that you want to see, the thing that you're uh, looking forward to. Even though I think it just also depends on the person. You just also have to think about like, well, do I really want to be in a relationship with this person if this person just you know does not seem to give a fuck about nice people even though on the other hand on the third hand or the fourth hand it is also like uh, are you overdoing it are you too nice are you just i don't know is it just weird because you're so nice to some degree like like i don't know could also uh, definitely be the case but, but don't expect a lot of things you know which i think is also a message to myself this whole rant here is also quite a message to myself to not expect a lot of things just because I'm nice you know you know I don't know this doesn't mean that things are gonna be easier for me that things are gonna come that uh, everything is gonna be nice in the end I, I certainly hope that it's gonna be and I certainly also hope that people appreciate other people that are nice and that are consciously trying to be good people but you know you can't make them grateful you can't make them show you their gratefulness and show you their appreciation and and it would certainly also be not that well because like yeah why doesn't make too much sense so so yeah i know it's um i don't know be nice enjoy your life enjoy your life and be nice i think um 
enjoying your life in, in such a way that you don't have to quite uh, that you don't have to expect something to happen so that you're gonna feel good you know but just always making sure that you enjoy whatever the fuck you're doing so that that you know if something happens that's that, that you appreciate then it is just even better but if it is not happening it's still like you know you're having your life and everything is just fine anyway which uh, I think I make, you know, I think it just makes sense. I think it really does, you know. But as I said, for the millionth time, be nice and be generous and, and praise people and tell them if they've done something good and tell them if they're wearing something cool and tell them if they look good today. And it, of course, it can be weird. It really can be, you know, especially if you're just a man and um, on the other hand or on the other side is a woman, you're just being like, well, you look pretty good today. It might be like, oh, why do you want to, uh, do you want to fuck me? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it could be, you know, so this is unfortunately something you really have to think about. Be, be smart, be smart about things. I don't know, I think it is actually one of the best advices you can give to, to anybody when, to whatever it comes, be smart about things. Whether it is the structure in your day, what it is just talking to somebody, the way you talk to somebody, uh, when you talk to somebody. All those things, like, be smart about it. What might this person be doing? Does this person want to just talk to you when it is just in the middle of the day? Does this person have something to do just besides talking to you? Yes, probably. So when are you going to just hit up this person? Like, so many things that just make sense, I guess, and that can be uh, pretty vile to, um, you know, not, not not really success or failure, but, but also just, well, kind of, yes, kind of, you know, not, not really ensuring but, um, I don't know, having better chances, I guess, or something. Like, be smart about things, about your day, do things that work for you, just don't do them because somebody else told you to do them in that way and stuff. But yeah, uh, this is the end of my rant. Um, yeah, I, I do hope that you just decide to do something and say something and make something that you know is going to make somebody else's life better. On the other hand, I just wish you the best health, health, happiness, and also success, and also hope that you're going to rise over you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy, basically means just being a nice person, and then being remembered as a nice person, which is ultimately a pretty cool thing, and, and also pretty important, as well as the other three questions that I want to tell you, which are, why are you here? What are you trying to change, and what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you at least your purpose, and maybe even a business idea, which is kind of the um, optimal thing that can be happening. So, yeah. I'm going to see you the next time, I at least hope, and I just... Really, truly appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.